Appreciate you being in town, right. man. Oh yeah, I'm here. We one, here, baby. Yeah, we rarely here, so <laughs> man, so we, we had to get you right away. I'm hey, you're a busy uh, man. Hey, man, I'm happy to be here, guys. I love what you guys are doing here, man. I'm a fan. Uh, keep this up, guys, man. Like, hey, for for everyone that tunes in, man, it's one of the best podcasts out. Appreciate, appreciate, that, appreciate you, that, man. man. I know you explored your uh, your route. You know, conversations with T. Colt. You know, how how was that? Challenging, yeah. You know that it's different from like the vision you got in your head mm -hmm. to putting it out and making it all happen. You know, especially when you're like a one man band. Right, right. But it was fun, like a good first learning experience. Season one was, I think, a success. You know, but uh, I just gotta keep going. You know, yeah. like, but it, it was hard, like, because when you're doing sports and you don't really have time to right. really focus on right. it. So like, my, my downtime, that's when I want to start filming more. But conversations with Cook is good. Yeah. Talk about that sports. You just, I mean, we were just talking about it off camera a little yeah. bit. We was trying to name all of the squads that you worked with in California. Uh, it's, it's almost to the it's almost to the point that if you're a professional athlete in Cali, T. Cook probably shot you. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably in a good way. T. Cook probably got you on the lens, man, yeah, and, and nah. that's dope. I mean, talk about your journey. Why you wanted to get into you know producing and. and how you got into doing it through sports? Well, I'll try my best to do it. But um, <laughs> first off, like, guys, like, just being ambitious, you know. Um, we all grew up playing football, grew up playing sports, and unfortunately I didn't, I wasn't able to make it to the, to the next level of college, you know. So one of my things was, like, if I couldn't make it in, in, in sports per se, what's the next best thing? And that was to do, like, if I can't be next to sports, let's – Let's do something that incorporates sports because this is what makes me happy. I love getting up. I'm never tired of my job. I love right, my right. jobs, you know. So what got me into it was just being ambitious and, like, I love the sports. Like, it, it gets me up. So it's like, um, how can I say it? Just having that determination to, even if you hear the word no, you're numb to it. No doubt. Because there, there's, there's different ways. So. Uh, when you guys were doing your, your camps, you know, Division One camps, and you guys were inviting me up, um, I did an internship with the Steelers. But before all that, just I was just a kid with a camera, you know, like, hey, how do I work this thing? And, um, one of my professors uh, at school was like, hey, you got some talent over here. And I'm thinking he's BSing. <laughs> nah, bro, Mr. Jungle, bro, you're, 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 you're BSing. And he's like, nah, bro, I think you really got some talent over here. Let me, let me work with you. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, hey, let me, let me get you right. So I started, like, learning the camera, starting to really go. And one of my friends, uh, Kevin Clark, you know, he uh, spoke up. He was on a uh, football team at the time. And I don't know what he said to the dude. He's like, hey, I need a, I need a photographer. And he's like, hey, Terrence, uh, my man Terrence, he just got off the Steeler internship. Uh, I think he'd be good for it. I, I was taking photos, guys, but I wasn't, I wasn't on that level. Right. But the, the, your friend believing in you. You know, your friend be like, no, I know you can do this. And one day the guy called me and was like, hey, yo, I heard you done this, down the third, let's do this. Next thing I know, like I'm, I'm taking photos for IUP and mm -hmm. being like being a person that's like, whoa, we have a position like this, right? And now I'm like passing the baton to the next person. So when I see the next up and coming person, I'm like, hey, Mr. Mr. Ryan, uh, this guy going to take photos too. He see me in this position. He see what I can do. How many connections you can make? The sky's the limit, you know. And just just speaking up and just passing the baton to the next one. Mm -hmm. So now. It looks good for that person. Like, oh, I did the internship through IUP too. So now a team is like, oh, you interned through your school, so your school yeah. trusts you. Yeah. Let's okay, okay. Let's give this guy an opportunity now. So stuff what, like that. What made you pick up the camera in the first place? Yeah. I wanted to shoot music videos. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be that guy. <laughs> I wanted to shoot music videos until I see what music videos take. Uh, no, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what? Uh, about what age you did that? Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen is when I first picked up a camera. Like, literally, going into college is when I started, like, really messing around with it. Uh, my friend was shooting music videos, and it was Mario. 
uh, and he always start always like asking questions like, "But how do you do this? How do you do these effects?" Yeah. He'd be like, "Oh, bro, he'll show me." Right, right, right. And I'm like, "Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I would love to do stuff." Because I was like, "There's a lot of artists in Pittsburgh that I would love to tell their story. I would right, love right, right. to, you know, do it, like help. I just want to help." And I was like, let, "Let me see if I can do it." So I started shooting my first little music video. They were okay, but I suck. Bro. Yeah. I, well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I suck, bro. Some of them were like, "Oh, you were good." Nah, bro, I suck. Nah. It's all right. But like, what's what's the hard part about? shooting music videos compared to sports videos the editing having that customer satisfied right, because right, okay right. there's let's say you want to shoot a music video okay your budget's three hundred dollars but you want the, them little baby yeah. budgets. you know what i mean you want them little baby budgets and you're like bro you're only giving me 300 i can't yeah, i can yeah, give yeah. you this effects you know what i mean but uh -huh. i can't i can't give you this steven spielberg style film bro no but you know, like, and when I when I've learned to like, no, nah, I, I don't want to do this. This don't excite me. Like, yeah. no, nah, I'm not. I'm not going to keep re-editing this thing over and over and over. <laughs> I already got. To, I, I'm going to sleep to your song. Bro. Right, right. <laughs> Come on, now. Nah, you know what I mean? Like, no, nah, bro. I don't. I don't care no more. Let me <laughs> let me do something else, bro. So when I start picking up a camera and just going through sports, man, it's just it's just exciting. I had that rush, yeah. like that. Like when you first put the pads on, right, I practice. Right, like right, when right, you first right, put them. Right. I had that rush, and it was like, whoa, like let's. Let's do this. Like, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm a little little rusty, but with some work, you know? Oh, and and that, that teacher believing in me and just shaping my skills. Like, I had to learn shutter speeds. I didn't know what the hell that was. I had to learn ISOs. I had to learn, like, okay, how to blur the back out. Yeah. Like, blur, blur, like, the whole scene out in. Uh, just shooting in shooting in different lights. Okay, if you're shooting basketball, it's definitely different than shooting football. Right. How, do you, how do you convey this message? How do I get the perfect angle? Without getting in the way, right, right. You know, so stuff like that, investing in lenses, just asking questions, you yeah. know, and people, act like giving me the answers. That's yeah. just like with anything, like takes time. Like, well, you started eighteen. Where are you now? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. You know, eleven years. You know what I mean? It's just like it takes time. <laughs> and I you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it flies by. So you, if you want something that bad, you know, you're going to try to perfect your craft, and you can probably attest to this that you're not done yet. Oh, absolutely. I, just started. I still feel like I'm just getting yeah. started. Everybody, like, everybody come back congratulating me. I'm like, bro, I ain't do nothing right, here. Right. I ain't do nothing. If y'all think this is phenomenal, wait till I really start getting the connections. Like, mm -hmm. The reason why I moved to L.A. is to get involved. I want to be able to be the first one to do films and sports. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to win an Oscar and, mm -hmm. a, and different Super Bowls and, and World Series rings. Like, I want to be able that person to, to shape the next person because there's a guy that's like me right now that picks up a camera. Mm -hmm. Any guy that reaches out to me, it's, even if you're black, white, Hispanic, anything, if you reach out to me, I'm going to answer. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I know what it's like to be in them shoes. I was the, that person, that, that kid, asking questions, trying to figure it out, learning on the fly. I want to help you. Right. You know, I'm I'm not opposed to, like, like let's say you, you, you both have daughters. Mm -hmm. Let's say they get around the camera. Right. Oh, I know the perfect person for you. He's right, going to right. tell you everything. He's not going to cheat you out of your goal. That's what I want to do. Yeah, that's dope. I mean, a lot of people who watch this show, you know, they aspire to be professional athletes, right? And you made it to the professional level without being an athlete. Like, you made it to the NBA, mm -hmm. the MLB, and the, M and the uh, NFL, NFL, but not as, a, not not as, as an athlete. So talk about how you got started with an internship with the Steelers, what what the connection was that got you there and how you made it to the professional level without being an athlete? To be honest with the Steelers, I, I had some help. Um, but it, it, it started at IUP first, just being eager, you know, mm -hmm. just trying to take little small clips of videos, just trying to know knowledge, you know, just getting my, trying to get my degree first. Uh, I have an uncle, you know, at the time he was like, even like a security guard, but he'll also be like a, like a chef there too. And I asked him, I was like, I, I never asked my uncle for anything. And this is that one time I asked for that plug. And I was like, hey, uncle, like, I know, you know, it's a long shot. Right. But if, hey, I'm, I'm getting my degree, if there's, a, if there's any way that they offer internships, let me know, you know. And, you know, I'm, I'm just shooting. Yeah, I'm shooting right, from right. long range. <laughs> and he's like, you know, I'll see what I can do. You know, I know how this goes. You know how it, it's hard to get people in. So he, he, literally, uh, he, he literally texts me like, what, a day and a half later. And he sends me the HR lady's name, and um, she's just a wonderful, wonderful woman. And i never forget that she was just like, hey, Terrence, um, this is such and such. This is Karina. And she was like, hey, well, we, I heard about you. Uh, your uncle speaks very highly of you. Do you have a resume? Do you have any of these like cover letters or anything that we can pass along? 
And, you know, she just, I was like, you know what? I do, like, here, I submitted all that to her. I had help from my professors, like, hey, how does this resume look? Like, yeah. let, let, let's get this, let's tidy this up. You know, let's do this. And submitted that over to her. And she was like, all right, well, we I think we have a position for you. Um, are you in the cameras? Right? I was like, yeah, absolutely. He's like, all right, well, Steelers TV. We'll let you go to Steelers TV as an intern. Um, since you're still in school, how about you just do the summer with us? So that means now you'll cover the draft, you'll cover training camp, you'll get to travel. Uh, well, travel and training camp. And then um, you'll be able to, like, Get the much needed experience that you need right before you go back into school. Mm -hmm. So stuff like that. But that's how I really got started. And one thing that I told her was just thank you because you she, she could just ignore mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. But the fact that she said no, we love people like this. We love this. Like we want to bring you in for an interview. Uh, you know, nothing's guaranteed. But let's see what you got. So next thing I know, my uncle like I, I'm ready. I'm ready for the interview. Uh, my uncle prepping me. I said, you know what? Let's go get the interview. I, I, I think I had the worst interview. I, ain't gonna lie, bro. I, was, I, I think like I was like, yo, I was like, bro, they, you know, they're not messing with me. I laughed a little too hard. I was like, you know, like, oh, bro. Next thing I know, like, they, they call me back like a week later. It's like, hey, Mr. Cook, uh, we want to give you an opportunity. And his name was Brian Turpak, and he's like, we want to give you an opportunity, man. Uh, they like we like you here, and let's see what you got. And, you know, I was just raw talent. Like, I didn't really know the ins and outs of really knowing the camera. I had to really learn on the fly, learning the big uh, JVC XD cameras. Mm -hmm. Like, like yo, how do I do this? Like, you know what I mean? But just learning on the fly, and it was able to teach me. Mm -hmm. You know, so stuff like that. Just, uh, just getting an opportunity like that and running with it, you yeah. know? So when I, by the time I got back to IUP, it's full speed ahead. Yeah. That's dope. So when you finished IUP, did that and then you went to the Academy of Arts. Did you do that in California or did you do that in Pennsylvania? With Academy of the Art? Yeah. No, that that's all San Francisco. So I took a leap. I took a leap of faith, you know. Did uh, you know anybody out there? Or are you I just knew this? one person. One person. One person that I went to IUP with, he played basketball. His name was Tyler Sabino. And, uh, shout out to Tyler. He's one of the managers now at the uh, I hope I say this right, Triller. Okay. They do the verses. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 so right about now he's doing he's doing a phenomenal okay. job. Um I knew him. And you know, all I knew was uh, all he, all I asked him was point me to where my classes are. Yeah, I'ma handle the rest. I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm a person that I don't really ask for anything. I'ma just go out and figure it out. Right. So one of my biggest challenges was, if I can go to San Francisco to one of the most creative places, my real dream is LA, but the Bay is where I think I can thrive at the most. And he just said, hey, bro, I think you have the most talent out of all your friends, like. You're the more serious one. Let's let's see what you can do. Let's see. And I was like, you know what? Let's go. I took a hunch. Literally graduated. Um, I had interviews from the Nationals, the uh, Detroit Lions, and the Vikings. Mm -hmm. Denied from all of them. I'm thinking I'm, oh, I'm about to yeah, go yeah, sweat yeah. these uh -huh. teams. Life hit too fast, yeah. guys. I got denied by all of them, and I was like, yo, what am I going to do? I, in a sense, I kind of felt like a failure. Right. But in reality just getting started you know mm -hmm. what i mean you need them nose to help better you right. yeah i'm glad they told me nose i don't want to be in detroit right now i don't want to <laughs> be in minnesota yeah. i don't want to be with the nationals right now like i'm i'm glad like they're great organizations right. but like location wise it, it's not feasible especially if you want to do film right, so right. i was like i want to make movies i want to be like like a like in a sense of tyler perry but a steven spielberg i want to be able to create my own narrative create a podcast mm -hmm. create movies and just learn you know learn on the fly so i just went on went a hunch my mom at first was like, what, you're crazy for trying to do this. Like, what makes you from San Francisco? You're right, you're right. But the craziest thing about chasing your dreams, I learned that I had another side of my family over there. Oh, Is wow. that right? Yeah. And it, it, it opened my eyes to, like, I think it's destiny. Yeah. So my school academy yard is in downtown San Francisco. I have a, 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 a cousin, but I call him my uncle. He lived down the street from the school. <laughs> and literally it took two days before I was about to come out there. One of my, aunt, one of my cousins called me and said, hey, you know... My brother stays out in San Francisco. I'm like, for real? He's like, I haven't met him since I was like 12. You know, and he was like, well, come. He's like, I'm calling him. He's, I like what you're doing, Terrence. I'm going to make sure you're okay. Mm -hmm. I said, all right, cool. Well, shoot. Thanks, God. You know what I mean? I get in there. Um, I'm blessed. I, I, I'm blessed uh, to, to meet my Uncle Jimmy's and, and meet my Uncle Henry's and just, just them embracing me. Like, ah, oh, welcome. You know, yeah. like. This is, the, we want to see you win. Yeah, yeah you're right. going for your masters? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's do this. And I'm just, just being motivated, feeling that love. Like, you know, at first, it's hard to sleep at night because you're, you're in a different city. Yeah. You're, you're excited. You don't know no yeah. one. But the fact that you got a little bit of family there, like, those yeah, times, guys, I starved that night. I starved. But 
my, my uncles would be like, bro, just come to the house, bro. You just yeah, like, you yeah, come yeah. eat, bro. Like, it's okay, bro. You don't got to. But that's just who I am. Right. Like, just like chasing your dream. You just never know what could happen. You never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah that's, that's wild. Though. Yeah, Just nah. to go out there by yourself, just off a limb, and just be like, I'm going to try to make it happen. And discover you got a whole, uh, whole a family, whole out, family there. out there. And then you, now you got to develop a support system. Yeah. Man. And oh, once you man. get that, then it, it makes things a lot easier. A lot easier. A lot easier. <laughs> but then right. you got to think, guys. Wasn't that around the time? Yeah, we was doing Division One dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you was only in town whenever you know we was doing the session right to hit that, you I up. Think. That's when the Raiders called. Yep, right after that. Yep, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. borderline shooting, and and Seven y'all years. giving me yeah. that platform to just get creative, get. I mean, like it just just freestyle it. Yeah, I was about to say you the first person when when me and Ty had the idea of creating what we was trying to create. I said, I said, man, look, I got a man who would probably be perfect for this, and I said, yeah. cool. And once I hit you up without hesitation, yeah, I got you, bro. Came out, do your thing. Yeah, the videos yeah, yeah. to this day, people yeah. talk about it'll come up on memories. I wish that you know we could have strived man. with that a little bit more, but that's not that the hair. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, we could go on and on about that. Yeah. But the videos you created, man, is just timeless. Like Absolutely. you know what I mean? Like I, I, I go through my camera roll now oh, and like watch them sometimes, like. Like, hey, yeah, oh. <laughs> and then you go with the speech with ET, the yeah. speech I still remember. Right, bro, and that's just raw, and that's just me learning. I even I didn't even get technical with right, it. Like, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. Like I see all my technical mistakes now through. I'm like, yeah. damn, I owed him a better video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we gonna keep that in mind. Yeah, no, 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 for sure, I, I'll forever, forever. Like I, I'll for sure. If you ever need anything out of me, bro, like like, like I said, you guys gave me an opportunity, yeah, and that's it, one thing that I want to make sure I tell you guys was thank you, and that's to oh, y'all faces. Oh, like, I mean, I know we talked all the time, but like, thank you guys because oh, yeah. without that platform. I'm able to give the Raiders something to look right, at. Right, right, yeah. You know what I mean? So they're like, oh, you're, you're, you're impacting the youth too? Yeah. Like, oh, they, listen, I'm helping convey the message. <laughs> they are the ones that's doing the groundwork, you know what I mean? But I, I'm just happy to be a part that they brought me a part yeah. of it. So. That add to your resume. And look, look, man, listen, them videos is whole. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like them, bro, but I'm just like, now I'm like, now that oh, you know, now that you're yeah. professional, yeah. you are like, yeah, hey. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's dope. So. You did the one day for us, and then you got a call from the Raiders. How how did that shape out, and what made you go out to then Oakland to, to do yeah. that job? Um, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I was ready, but scared as hell yeah. because it was like I was ready, but like now's my time. I finally got back in the NFL. Like, okay, okay now we're on a different stage. Next thing I know. Marshawn Lynch is coming back to Oakland. Uh, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, like, yeah. okay, like, we're doing our things. Derek Carr is there. And just uh, Trayvon Hester was there at the time. Yeah. Uh, and just, like, going walking through the building, you know, um, the, the Silver and Black, their fans, phenomenal. I'm, I'm yeah. a diehard Steelers fan, ladies and gentlemen. But, like, their fans are yeah. crazy. The Black Hole. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. And I see why they call yeah, it the yeah. Black Hole. Like, there's, there's fans, and then there's Raider fans. Yeah. Like, yo, <laughs> they, 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 don't, they don't come. They invade. They yeah. really invade. Like, That's dope. But it, their whole atmosphere, just being there, like, you know, it's like, okay, Raiders. Like, it's hard for me to root for a different team. But, like, hey, like, we're in this together. Yeah, it's yeah, a team. Sure. Like, so from the Raiders, bro, just I thank them a lot, too. Yeah. And starting a network, you know, mainly – for, for, for the kids coming up, start talking. Like when you're in that door, start, I don't care if it's the janitor, I don't care if it's the, the lady at the front desk, the man at the front desk, start talking, start networking because mm -hmm. you never know who they know, who that next person knows. I'm telling you guys, like, even from the Steelers, I'll give you a small story. I, um, how I met Mr. Rooney, we're at lunch, mm -hmm. and I see him, my uncle introduced me to him, and I'm just, okay, thanks, Mr. Rooney, good to see you, you know what I mean? I'm going to keep it pushing, right, he's right, a busy right, man right, right there. I'm sitting down, and uh, he comes up to me, puts his tray down, I'm like, oh, shoot, am I in the wrong side? It's a bad impression, guys, bad impression. Next thing I know, he's like, you know what, he's like, I was like, oh, my bad, Mr. Rooney, let me get up. He's like, nah, he's like, where are you going? I said, I'm getting out of here. I was like, oh, y'all about to handle business. Uh -huh. Come on, I'm an intern, I ain't supposed to be over here. He's like, nah, nah I came to talk to you. What? Uh, what? What you you sure, sir? He's like, yeah, man. What, what's your name? Like, what's, what's how about you? I heard you're Andre's nephew, so we learned about you. I said, oh, I'm Terrence. I went to IUP. Like, oh, you went to IUP. My dad went there. Uh -huh. He didn't finish though. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, was like, I started laughing. I was like, Mr. Rudy, I promise I'm gonna finish. He's like, no, like, 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 oh, no, no, you're good, you're good, man. But you know, start to get to know him. And so, guys, like, I start asking him questions. So 
I remember my boss had like a, a book, like he had, he just released a book, mm -hmm. and this is right after he was the ambassador of Ireland. Mm -hmm. So uh, in his book, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Skip over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after he was the ambassador of yeah. Ireland, yeah. 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 So, he was gonna keep it Hold on, yeah. So Mr. Rooney, he was the ambassador of Ireland. So you remember um, <laughs> President Obama? He was one of the big things, like to um, to get Obama into office. So That's you crazy. know, he blessed him with the ambassador of Ireland. So. After he came back from that, you know, he was he's still Mr. Rooney, still yeah. Mr. Dan Rooney, and uh, just him personally, man, it's a great dude. Like he's just so down to earth. And I remember reading a book that my boss had on his desk. I learned he likes to fly planes. Mm. So I was like, hey, Mr. Rooney, tell me about flying on planes. Yeah. So he's like, oh, I fly to the Trobe every time, every every time. I, fly, I like to fly my planes. Like I get in them, you know, it, it gives me that rush again. Yeah. It makes me feel young. And just learning, he's like, how did you know I flew planes? I said, I read about you. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I read about you. You know what I mean? So, he's like, okay, I like that. I like that. It's just like a uh, small, small story. I'm, we're moving all of our stuff to Latrobe. And uh, I'm like, all right, I'm outside. I'm watching the van a little bit. And my, my boss like, all right, well, stay right here. I'm going to go grab one more thing we need. Mr. Rooney come out. He's out from the cafeteria. He's like, hey, Terrence, how you doing? I said, like, I'm good, Mr. Rooney. Good to see you, sir. I mean, we're about to get ready to go to Latrobe. You know, hey, oh, yeah, I'll see you up there. Hey, Terrence, you watch hockey? Time I ain't watch hockey, guys, uh -huh. but I'm not going to tell yeah, this man yeah, no. Yeah. I said, Hell yeah, I watch hockey. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Shoot, I watch Sidney Crosby all the time. That's yeah. my man. So, oh, yeah. Well, Terrence, I want to bring, he's like, oh, I'm going to introduce you to some people. I'm trying to bring the NHL draft to Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Okay, well, let's stay. He's like, Hey, does, uh, is, are you sure you want to introduce me? He's like, Shut up. Like, hey, this, these are the NHL commissioners, man. Hey, this is Terrence, one of our interns. I'm like, oh, yeah. This man is amazing. Yeah, and they're amazing. like talking like, hey, you got interest in hockey, you got interest in NHL, and you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Hell no. Shoot, hell yeah. yeah. Like, what's up? <laughs> opportunities, guy, right. opportunities. Right. And, exactly. And just him. He don't really, Mr. Rooney didn't know he's from Canada yeah. Pate, right. but the fact that just good character. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you with these people, see what happens. Yeah, like, yeah. You never know. A couple years later, the NHL drafts in Pittsburgh. That's, that's a very powerful man at that yeah, time. Yeah, that's dope. That's so, dope. stuff like that, bro. That's why I. I I owe like the Steelers and Mr. Rooney a lot in my debt for sure. No doubt. So you went out and you had that season in Oakland with the Raiders, and then you transitioned to baseball. Were you doing that simultaneously, or did you do that one after another? I did it one A's? after another. So the so the way the season came, because they shared the stadium at the right, time. Right, right, right. So the way the season came, that we were nearing the end of the Raiders, and we knew we knew wasn't making the playoffs. Yeah. So um, like so I tell everybody, start talking. So I'm in the press box. <laughs> And one day, I, this guy, we used to always sit next to each other. Uh, uh, what's his dang, oh, what's his name that quick? Oh, he's going to get me for this. But um, I used to talk to him every day. And I used to, I didn't know his title. I didn't know nothing. I just knew he was uh, just helping out with the Raiders. I was talking, like, yeah, man, you guys know any, like, internships I can do? I've been trying to get to the A's and Giants and all that. He's like, what do you do? I was like, oh, I do, I do videography, guys. I do, okay. Well, I, we might. I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to some people. Let you know I me mean? see what happens. Bro, the dude, turns out, he runs the whole press box <laughs> for both teams. Yeah. So next thing I know, I'm, I'm in the interview. He gives me like, he's like, hey, follow up with this this person you reach out to. Follow up. Followed up with him. Next thing I know, I'm in the interview room. And I, like I said, I think I did a horrible in the interview. Uh, I was like, oh, this one, I know I did horrible. Yeah. Like. Next time they call me, they's like they call me and say, "Hey, we'll let you know within like six weeks." I said, six weeks? Six weeks. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, bro, I definitely ain't get that yeah. job. It's over with. They called me in two days later. Yeah. It was like, "Hey, we want to bring you aboard of the A's." I'm like, "Oh, great! Hey, I just want to say, guys, thank you." And tell, uh, tell Dan. I, I swear his name's Dan. I was like, um, <laughs> "Tell him I said um, thank you." Tell him I said thank you. He's like, "Hey, do you know who he is?" I said, "Nah." He's our boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, hey, well, yeah, man, the network is crazy. Yeah, right. man. It's crazy, man. Just, just, just start talking. Start talking. You never know. That's how I network my way over to the A's, and from the A's, you start getting to talking some more. Right, yeah. And that's how I network my way over to the Giants, and then the Giants to the Warriors, and uh, from the Warriors, just, it's just crazy. But how was that with the Warriors? So I was going to ask there's, you. There's nothing like watching Steph Curry warm up. Yeah. Like, there's nothing like it. I mean, the first year he got hurt, so I wasn't I wasn't able to really. So I seen the the other side of the Warriors. <laughs> I didn't really get to see Clay play because he obviously right. came back this year. Uh, but just watching that man go to work, that is really a chef. Like yeah. that man, he works hard, extremely, every single day, man. Like the Warriors were the first team that I felt like 
a family. You know what I mean? Like I can go to my boss and he's not going to think I asked a dumb question. Right. He's going to want to help me. And he's one of the best bosses I've ever had in my life. Like I owe that man a lot. Um, any time I had a question, uh, he's going to answer it. He's going to tell me, no, Terrence, you messed up right here, but this is how you fix it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, let's do this. And hey, Terrence, like, even when I was transitioning to I was telling him I might leave, yeah. he was like, he went over the job descriptions with me and was like, hey, Terrence, like, we're offering this. They're offering you this. I understand this, but this is what we, we're going to pay you next year. And he was just, just, just helping me and coaching me. He wasn't even like, it wasn't like, he was mad that I was leaving. Right, he just right. wanted to help. Yeah. And he was like, Terrence, I, he's like, I know you love LA. And I know it took a lot for you to tell me that you're going to leave. Yeah. And he's like, but I want to help. So however I can help you, let me know. And uh, he's, he was the first person to text me after the Super Bowl. Congratulations. I think you made the right decision. And, oh, man, it was just like, it was just surreal. You know what I mean? But just the whole Warriors organization, I think, is great. A very diverse organization. Um, you know, they. I've learned a lot. I got better editing through them. Right. I got a better being a better producer as them because they shoot commercial style films now. Like their our team is a lot bigger, so that's one thing. The NFL's studio team is smaller compared to basketball. What's the biggest difference between football and basketball and football, basketball and baseball in terms yeah. of videography? Well, basketball is more slower pace than football because football you only got you got one show we call it we call them shows so you got one show so you got that one sunday to perfect everything in mm -hmm. football so like there, there's literally no room for mistakes you got to be perfect you have to be perfect basketball is a little bit more lenient because we you we recycle some of our content um so when you're shooting basketball you just got to learn like like if you're shooting with a reds camera like for everyone i don't know what a reds camera is it's basically a a, a very very nice camera that shoots up to about 4k and it looks so freaking real but it's like when you're when you're handling this camera there's like a setting to where like okay i can it's like a standby so i'm pre-recording before i record mm. but if you stand that pre-recording you'll be like okay i still i can get steph dribbling dribbling shoot bang but now i have it still recorded on my thing but i'm still rolling mm. so like it's smaller clips but knowing when so more anticipation so like um, learning that camera, learning the difference from a, a Reds camera to a mirror camera. Like, uh, a, for instance, like a mirror camera, you're going to see a lot more green in your shots. Then with a Reds camera, it's going to look more movie style. Gotcha. You know what I mean? But uh, the difference will be just execution. Execution, the time of execution. Because like I said, you can't miss nothing in the NFL. you got to be perfect. Every touchdown, every everything. Even though we got the replay, like we're better now. But like, your, your shots got to be crisp. There's a lot of competition. And if you make that mistake, there's always somebody that's going to that's come right behind you. I got the shot. Right. And you know it's like with basketball, you have more time to learn about the business side, to learn about the, the production side. And like, okay, how do I switch it on from game mode to, all right, now we're shooting a schedule release video. You know, how creative we're about to be with that. Or budgeting. Okay, so we're, we're going to put $2 million to our open video before the players come out. We have like, like for the Rams. We budgeted about $2 million for our open video to, like, broadcast L.A., our call to action for everybody to L.A. to come in, uh, and they're going to run out the tunnel to it. That's the you know what I mean? So, um, this obviously be the, the bigger difference, just timing and execution. That's the Talk about, because you've been around some of the most amazing athletes that you can you can think of Steph Curry, Odell Beckham, LeBron, LeBron. You got um, the iconic shot. When LeBron knocked me over, he's like, "Bro, my bad." No, 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 it's Christmas, man. Like, I'm here. Like yeah. that was my moment, and I'm like, I'm here. Like yeah, let's go. Talk about that. You was filming on on Christmas Day. No, that what game was that? Was that Christmas Day? I don't think. I don't think so. I think it was a couple days before Christmas. Cause who do we play the Lakers? We don't usually play Lakers on Christmas. We play at, the Rockets. At what point in your career did you say, "Man, this is why I do what I, I do"? Yeah. Warriors on LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> Instant, 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 without a Instant, doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> without a doubt. Because that moment. Because I'm like obviously you're covering a, a heavy camera, so you're like going back and forth. You're trying to get the perfect shot. Because now I'm shooting. Because I do live production and I'll do studio production. At that time, I was doing live production. Mm -hmm. So 
once again, yeah. start networking, guys. So when I found out I could get paid twice from the same company, Yahtzee, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? So you mean to tell me I can be an assist, like I say, a production assistant right now, yeah. and then I could go and be a professional cameraman to shoot to film the games for like a union or something? Voila, well, let's do it. Yeah, like, exactly. let's roll the dice. Let's see what. Cause you're only gonna get better. Uh -huh. So at that time, like, I just happened. I just put two and two together, and like, I was like, okay, well. I'll, LeBron's coming here, and like when you watch LeBron warm up, them cameras are different. The yeah, cameras I like bet. everybody's standing up, and everybody's like, oh, "That's LeBron, right, that's him, right, right, that's right. him." And like we're watching him in person, I'm like, "Yo, I try not to have that fan move." Right, you try I not to say, say, "How hard is it to keep that fan in you?" <sighs> hard, bro. yeah. And so especially if it's a person you really respect, because right. I'm like LeBron, like I, like what you're doing in the community, what you're doing for us mm -hmm. as black individuals, what you're, what you're like. That man, in a sense, is perfect to me. Right. To the for, to the sense of don't get in trouble. He's never like caught in the taboos for doing nothing. He's always doing good. He built a freaking school. Right. You know what I mean? And he's just always that same guy, LeBron. So, just see, that moment right there was just like, yo. So when he <laughs> when he hits me, I'm like, I hear boom. Everybody's like, are you all right, bro? I'm, good, bro. I'm in the game. EA Sports, man. Let's go. And then, like, 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 obviously, with the cameras and it was a TNT game, right. more people was like, in the power of DVR, everybody's like, oh, no, I'm going to that back. Is that serious? Oh, yeah. And, like, that, that was one of my moments. I'm like, yes. Like, now my hard work's paying off. I'm starting to get noticed. I'm starting to, like, I'm not just here. I'm really here. Yeah. So I'll say that would be one of the biggest moments. That's dope. So being around all of those crazy athletes, what is the difference between, I guess, the way that they go about their professionalism compared to what you may have seen at IUP? Like we like like college wise, like like playing Just sports, playing sports, yeah. Oh, the dedication! It's the yeah. dedication, bro. Like so, from the moment they wake up, from the moment they go to sleep, they're working on their craft and their body. One person in particular, I don't want to give his jewels, but he kind of like yeah, he kind of already said this, but. Me watching it and knowing it like like the Cooper Cup, yeah. like and Matt Stafford. The reason why that chemistry is the way it is because these dudes do not leave the facility. Right. Like Aaron Donald might leave the facility real quick, come back like an hour, back in there like yeah. until late. Like um, the like the way that they break down film, the way that they know, the way how Matt Stafford. Like I'm I was blessed enough to like film Mike Dubs, so I know what plays coming. You right, know what right. I mean? So I get to hear the play. And I'm like, oh shoot, all right. Somebody about to be open. Cooper, go left. You want to do this? Like, oh shoot, <laughs> we're here. And so like, eat, like stuff like that. Just that, that chemistry. Like, hey, hey, like the mid game. Sean McVay. Like, he's one of the great, one of the great guys too. Him and Mike Tomlin. Uh, when I met them, like, this first class individuals, man. Like, hey, what's your name? Like, we want, we like you here. Like, okay, I like to know about my videographer's names. Like, uh, but their preparation for the game. Um, first off, taking care of the body, mm -hmm. studying that film. And then their execution in practice, right. which That's transitions to that game. So, what I would tell any athlete: put on the Cooper, put on like if you're a receiver, put on the Cooper Cup and see how he get open. Because he doesn't look fast, mm -hmm. but he's quick as hell, yeah. and he's always going to be open. So you want to when you round in that tape, look at his footwork, look at his foot. Like he's he's thinking ten steps before that DB is even reacting. Yeah. So stuff it's like that. It's all things they do in like practice. Yeah, that's where it's all gonna start. Right? Yeah, yeah. Talk a little bit about about practice because, well, obviously you're at you're at the practice as well, and being at the professional level, it's not as physically demanding right. no, as uh, it is, you know, in college or high school. Demanding, but the mental demand that it takes to be at the top of the game. What are some things that you've seen in, in terms of that? So one thing when the Rams were going through their um, hiccups, you know, for instance, so like when we were we started off seven and one. And then we went to like we were in that no no win November. We kept yeah. losing. You know what I mean? We lost like three, four straight. Next thing I know, uh, Sean McVay is just like, no, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We got to stay focused. We got to stay the course. Got to stay the course. The players knowing like, no, we got to stay the course. Uh, Aaron Donald being vocal. We got a Vaughn Miller coming in. We're bringing in Vaughn. We're bringing in uh, Odell. We're bringing in all these key pieces. That's like we got to stay focused. We got to do this. We got to you know what I mean? Let's not hinder this. Let's let's do this. Um, they're their, how, how can I say this? Their mental of we're going to finish. Vaughn Miller knowing, like for instance, I don't know if y'all know this. Vaughn Miller brought his uh, Lombardi Trophy when we were struggling. Mm -hmm. and he brought his yeah, Lombardi Trophy in, that. 
and uh, it was taped. Uh, the thing was taped, and it said, um, "I forgot." It said something about if you want this, you'll sacrifice everything for this. This is what you work for, something like that. I remember seeing it taped because I had to go in the locker room and film some stuff. I'm like, oh, who's? I said, who brought a Lombardi here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, Vaughn brought that. And I'm looking, I was like, oh, and and that leadership, right. you know what I mean? So even though we were in a funk, you know, like the guys like Vaughn Miller was like, nah, we, we know how to get up out of this funk and just just to stay in the course, stay in the what we know, and just getting that that extra needed help too, man. Like that was a great lead, like great leaders all around from Andrew Whitworth. Um, just making sure like these guys constantly were just. Perfecting their craft, yeah. I would say. That's dope. That's dope. So, like we said earlier, there's different avenues to the professional level. To becoming, to work in a professional sport, you don't always have to be an athlete. Facts. So I need to know what it was like to become a Super Bowl champion. <laughs> <laughs> You, and you could have went either way. So if you went to left Golden State, you would have been a champion. Yeah, been a champion. Yeah. So like you kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. You might have to hire T. Cook if yeah, you want to win a championship. Hey man, <laughs> this was a good year for us, man. Leave, your, good mark. Year. Leave your mark somewhere. Um, to be honest, y'all, it didn't really hit me uh, until the parade. To be honest, but like, I mean, don't give. Me, I think honestly, I felt more better when we beat the Niners to go to the Super Bowl. Mm. Because that game, those emotions, we haven't beat them guys in like five years. Like, they own us. Yeah. And then we're hearing the talks. Like, we're hearing them on Good Morning America. Mm. Oh, you're the little brother, Sean yeah. McVay. Uh, <laughs> Coach got you in the head, Bob. He got, and we're hearing this. So we're like, man, we, can't, we, we almost beat them last time. Like, we um. got them. We got them. And just for them to, like, Stand up and like we're not we're not making yeah. this happen. And then for Aaron Donald to be Aaron freaking Donald and, mm -hmm. and steal his dominance, for Matthew Stafford to get over the hump from no playoff wins right, to three right. straight. You know what I mean? Like that is what from Sean McVay saying, Oh, you you traded everywhere way to get Matt Stafford. This is why I did it. Right, you right. know what I mean? From Les Sneed, uh bringing in Odell, oh, he's a cancer, he he's a team obliterator, like he's not man, Odell is one of the nicest individuals I've been around. Right. Like he's very humble, very great. Um, stuff like that. So being a, like to answer your question, the Super Bowl it, it hit me when obviously you, know, you get the you get your family out there. Right, right. Uh, so my mom has never been really on a plane, mm -hmm. and so for her to come to LA, um, she didn't get a chance to watch me walk uh, for my Masters because of COVID. Yeah. So I, I, that was like my plan to get her out to Cali. Right, right. And since that didn't happen, I'm like, damn man, like, yeah. how, <laughs> I felt so devastated. Like, damn, I worked all this hard to get to get to this point. Like, I want to bring this for my mom. So for my mom to be out there and for my mom to see us win, for my mom to be out there and and just see, like, like she get to see Steph Curry, she get to see the LeBron, because everybody's at this game, right, right. and to see her son put in all this time and effort, even though I ain't playing down. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> to see all that, to get to see L.A. and with the, the, the beauty of everything that's there, that's when it hit me. That's when my cool. mom said, yeah. yo, you're a fucking Super Bowl champion. Yeah. I, like, if that brought tears to my eyes, then people calling me like, yo, yeah. congrats, congrats. That moment when like, yo, mom, like, you know, like, wow, God really works. Like, there's really a God. Like, yeah. so it, it, it was, it's great being a champion, guys. Like, I, I know we talked about it. We're supposed to, I, I was supposed to bring the ring, but oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> we got to, our ring ceremony is on the 21st. I had to come early. Um, I was going to bring the ring, but obviously we didn't get them yet. So, um, but guys, it's it's remarkable. Yeah. It's really like a dream come true. Uh, I never like at the college level, like anything. I never really won nothing like right, that. Right, right, right. So for us to see that and for us to win at home in LA to see the halftime show that was yeah, going that was on, right, yeah. you know, like front Why row seats. Invite the game. Yeah. Why don't they invite the game? <laughs> but again, the rapper, yeah, 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 to be honest, bro, I think you should have been out there. I said, look, this is exactly what happened. I'm filming. I mean, we're not filming because we have to film at halftime. I'm like, I think this would be hard if the game came out. <laughs> now I seen 50 come out. I was like, is that 50? <laughs> Oh, they did the game dirty. Yeah, oh, they did it dirty, bro. They did it <laughs> dirty. Sick. How are they sick too? Bro. Because this is this is backyard, bro. I'll be real, bro. He is LA. Yeah. He's LA. Like I don't, I don't know if it was gang related or anything like that, but I feel like he should have been there. Honestly, I think it would have made us. It would have turned everybody up. Now, yeah. Fifty is a bigger artist right. by all means, and you got to remember it was an aftermath. 
Yeah, you know I mean uh, halftime show. So that's that's it, just yeah, politics. It was what it was. Yeah, yeah but yeah, at the end of the day, game should have been there. He should have been there. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even know if he was at the Super Bowl, but I feel like 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 he said that was a call. And, and I feel like the history that him and Dr. Dre have, I feel like that that call should have been made. Yeah, I, I, I think that would have elevated that. the Super Bowl. Even if he had to come out and say two words, bro, hate it or love it, like play that, yeah. play that with fifty. Yeah. That would have elevated everything. Man, that would have that would have went crazy. You know? brought game and fifty out together. Fifty ain't with that. Nah, no, fifty ain't with that. I know he ain't. I know he ain't. Man. <laughs> he ain't with that. He ain't with that. None of that, yeah. bro. He ain't want to hear none of that. And I mean, he got one up on him for that one. But I mean, yo, that whole Super Bowl experience. And then you got to think, guys, like. When you're working, for instance, like, okay, I have more time to celebrate the NFC Championship than we did the actual Super Bowl. Right. So, like, all right, let's say game over, players hoist the trophy. All right, now it's our time to celebrate. So we're on the field. We got 10 minutes, bro. We got about 10 minutes because you got to catch that. But we got to yeah. pack our equipment up, get all that on the truck before the truck leaves. Then you got to go to the shuttle because we're not allowed to drive to the game for the Super Bowl. That's all yeah. gone. So you got to catch the shuttle bus, bro. You got 30 minutes. Ooh. You know what I mean? That our stadium is huge. Yeah. So far, State one of the beautiful stadiums in the world. You guys got to come out and oh, see a sure. game. It's, there's really nothing like it. There's nothing like driving down um, Sunset on your way or driving through Inglewood and playing Nipsey Hustle before yeah. the game. Bro. There's, <laughs> nothing, there's nothing like it. I got the sunroof going. I'm blasting out for the game. You think I'm playing, bro? Yeah, I'm, saying, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm like, oh, let's go. Like, you, I'm getting psyched out. Like, let's go. Like, let's do this. Like, it, there's nothing like it, guys. Like, that's how football should be played. Midday LA Super Bowl, the atmosphere, the weather, everything was on point. Yeah. That had to be crazy. Man. That could only and it was the tickets so was the low was like eighty five hundred, something Jesus. like that. Well, we had uh, we had a well, steal. Yeah, so, I know. I, yeah, I'm yeah. Did. so we had so they gave us two comp tickets, oh. and then we had the opportunity to purchase other tickets at face value. But oh. that's bro, yeah, face value is still a couple hundred. Four bands. Four bands. Four, it was about five bands. Yeah, four forty five hundred. For what kind of seat? Nosebleed. Yeah, that's hell. <laughs> Face value, face value, or you can like, or you can do. <laughs> Where's the comp tickets at? Where they? Where y'all? Oh, uh, so that's family section. So you'll be right behind the uh, end zone, okay. second level. Okay, that's cool. So that's players, cool. players were down bottom, and then your family sits on top. Okay. But so like, let's say, like, and that's another thing. Like everyone was asking about Super Bowl tickets, but you're like, bro, we don't really know our package right. until the next following week, and you're like, okay. What do I tell my mom? Like, what do I tell her? Okay, right, right, right. how am I going to tell somebody? Yeah, it's five bands a, a pop for these tickets, and and but you but you got two days to pay for it. Yeah, like who the hell? Yeah, like yeah. we got bro, we got people got houses, people right, got right, right, like right. lives. Like you know what I mean? So I couldn't get. I, I wasn't trying to do that for people. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that whole situation. People's like, I'll pay the ten bands. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you don't even need to pay the ten bands. Right. Like, I'd rather watch it. I right? Know, no, bro. that's how I, I, know. Know. I know it's the experience, but like. I would say that, bro. That's what. Even as a, I speak on as an ex athlete, I could really care less to go to a game. Like even when one of my closest friends played for the Steelers, yeah, he called me every Sunday. You want to come on a game? I'll leave a ticket at the. Uh, t- no, nah, I'd rather watch it at the crib. Watch it at the crib, you know bro. I mean? So where I can see everything. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know what I mean? exactly. But like, say I did go to LA, but it could. You know, It'll go for an experience. Yeah. Like, you know, you can't go out there and not at least see, yeah, you know, exactly. see the game yeah. and stuff like that. There's, so. there's, there's, there's just so much to do in L.A. So some people, sometimes them stands don't be filled. Like, yeah. they be, like, Charger games? Yeah. I'm about to say, probably stuff around the stadium probably be more packed. Like, they got, like, bars that, wa- like, watch bars. Yeah, they got watch bars. They got a lot. There's just always something going yeah. on. Like, you got the beach. People will be, like, there's something. You got Universal. You got Disney. Right, right, right. right. People don't really care. Like, you know, so it's so like it's down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, yeah like now, now Tom Brady coming to town. Right. Oh yeah, them tickets are sold. Them tickets yeah, are yeah. sold. So even seeing Tom Brady live for the first time, like that man is crazy. That yeah. man is. I see why he's yeah. to go. Um, <laughs> just, just that whole the after party, like just that experience, you know. And you, you get to bring your family to the after party and and seeing that and just like whoa, like the our families got treated like royalty, bro. Yeah, that's dope. Free hotel. Mm-hmm. They got uh, tailgate tickets. So the tailgate, top shelf liquor, top, all you can eat buffet, mm. full bust. When you're getting busters, you ain't got to worry about no transportation. People ain't have to spend a damn discount at Starbucks. Uh, they pay for your flights to get out there too. No, that's the only thing. Yeah, okay. Because we were the home team, we were home uh, technically. Okay. Now, if we played somewhere else, yeah. then yeah, they will pay for the flight. They'll give you like a so. Like for this year, it's in Arizona. They we go. Yeah, uh-huh. you'll do. They'll they'll pay for the flight usually. Okay. 
or they might give you a discount, discount like right, a yeah. discount code. You're like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. And that's another thing. How, how do you tell your moms, like, like, bro, all right, mom, I don't know uh, when these tickets are coming. Like, I don't know how they're, like, yeah, I don't yeah. know how this is going. Oh, by the way, I don't know what time you're going to fly in. Like, I yeah. don't. I don't. <laughs> people I, ain't got live. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know, mom, but, like, let's. We'll figure it out. Like, right. let's see. With this one, you you might have put it on a credit card. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. I mean, I them, Cause them flights, oh my yeah, God. they're ill. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like after party, we got to see Gunna perform. Like, mm -hmm. yo, it was it was lit at that after free party. Free Oh uh, yeah, free to <laughs> bro, It was that after party was crazy. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, guys. Like I'm that thing went to about five in the morning, man. Oh my God, and I was and I had to be up. Hold on, I was at work. I was at work the next day. You was getting out of the after party. No, hold on. Here's the crazy part. I had to do the after party, right? Tell me why I had to go down to downtown Pittsburgh. I said Pittsburgh, downtown LA, because we have to do the uh, the, the uh, host handoff. Mm -hmm. So I had to go cover that press conference mm -hmm. of the Super Bowl MVP Sean McVay, and then we're handing it off to Arizona. So I had to go six in the morning mm -hmm. to downtown LA, like to the convention center. I'm like, yo, my mom was like, did they really make you go there? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I got to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to work. I'm getting paid. Built for that life. Yeah, oh, bro. let's just say going to five a.m. Yeah, oh, man. I know about that, though. Cosby out till 4 a.m. and got to go to a 6 a.m. workout. You got a hey, point man. there. You got a point. But that's I ain't going to go hold no camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sweat them demons <laughs> about them. Yeah, I'll say what they think. They thought for a tripod. Yeah. If I freehanded that, Ooh, oh, man. Yeah, they and, I, like, and then, like, the food, bro. They had so much food, bro. So much alcohol. Like, catered everything. Like, I'm like, oh, we are spoiled, bro. Like, yeah, that's that's the benefit of being a professional. Right. Absolutely. Professional yeah, you got athlete, the whole, you got the whole that Lombardi. Oh, yeah, you got Lombardi the whole that Lombardi. So I got to hold it before it got engraved. It was the yeah. best part. Like, because yeah. it's like, I got, I, I said, I want to hold it when it's dinged up. I want to, yeah, yeah, I want yeah, the yeah. real, I want everybody that already kissed it. Yeah, I know it's dirty, yeah, but. lips on it. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Put your lips on it? No, hell no. How you ain't put your lips on it? Nah, nah, nah. You ain't a picture? Nah, too many people with too many lips been on that one at that time. I be watching on TV. Be like, yeah, that's another one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's another one. Yeah, I don't got time for that. I, I do it, like, and it was like, but now you in the moment though. Come on, Lily, in the moment. No, I in the moment. I'm like, this is a one off. Let me come on. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, yeah, I mean, let me hold. But I really like. The thing was just going around so much. Then the parade, like, these, like we, we really didn't have time. So, okay, we're putting together packages right after the Super Bowl. So, it's like, we can't really celebrate that we right, won. Right. Like, so, it's like, all right, we won. Now, let's prepare for the parade. Damn. Like, yeah. how are we going to do all this for the parade? How many cameras are we taking? How many, how, how, what are we renting? All right, where's the parade at? Oh, so we're doing it at USC. What's the route? Okay, so, Terrence, you're going to be on the stage. All right, are you guys going to run the floats? Like, they, like we didn't stop. It's like, a whole process. Yeah, it's a whole process. So, where were you at? So I was on stage. That's too. I was, yeah. getting, I was getting, at first I was like, I want to be on the float. Then I thought about it. I don't want champagne throwing. Yeah. I'm good. I want y'all to have y'all tap throw all that. Yeah, get on. Don't throw no. Don't throw no champagne at me. But these dudes, I, I know y'all seen the parade. Yeah, they they had them huge yeah. bottles. Look like, where you find these at Vegas? Uh, I'm like, where'd you? Like, like, and they're all they're going crazy. And it, it was great to see. But most importantly, man, from a kid from Pittsburgh, uh, a guy from Pittsburgh to seal it. And you're both working like he obviously he's playing. I'm working mm -hmm. for him to be the person that literally led us and not just let us dominate it mm -hmm. throughout the play, just dominate it. And for him to be like, "Yo, we're gonna win the world championship," and stood on what he believed in and did it. Two kids from Pittsburgh, whoa, like yeah, whoa from Pittsburgh to Pittsburgh. I salute him. You know, I mean, we talk a little bit, nothing like I'm gonna sit up here and say we are oh, we super buddy buddy right, like right. nah. But like the times that we had talk, man, he was just. Great stand-up dude, you know all all the conversations we had, um, just great, you know everybody there was great, man. Yeah. That's dope, man. So, I mean, you worked for almost every professional team in California, <laughs> pretty much every What's sport that? except hockey. Yeah. Literally, yeah. 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 I told Mister. Yeah. 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 So, like so oh. what's what's next? Like, what do you feel like? Like, what do you feel like you want your legacy to be in film? I want to actually try movies. Like I moved to LA for opportunity, so I knew when I when I came to the Rams that like I would have the opportunity to this network get in there, but I will also have the opportunity to be like, ooh, let's use this and like let's try to get the Universal, let's try to get the Lucas Films, let's try to get to Disney. You know what I mean? There's just so many different avenues in LA, and I want to really utilize LA. Mm. Like I would love to go to the Lakers. I would love to go to the Clippers. Like right. you know, there's so many connections that you make. Like now, guys, like 
I've met so many people that I'm like, oh, they be like, hey, bro, you want to go to the Clipper game? You want to go to the Laker game? Yeah, yeah let's go. Right, like, right, right. And we'll just exchange tickets. Like, it's fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what we do. Like, oh, bro, oh, my family had a great time. Oh, well, great. I, I'm glad they had a great time. Here, man, some free parking, too, so you don't got to pay that $200. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> like, here, do that. Like, let's, like, let's, let's, let's have fun. Like, Power some, of, the network, some right. of the my greatest friends probably were from the Warriors. Like, because obviously we were a big group. Yeah. So, like, they all, so a lot of them went off to go with the Patriots, uh, go uh, to in the tech. Uh, go. Some of them secure jobs with the Warriors. Some of them went elsewhere. Mm -hmm. but there's just you just meet so many different people. You just never know. That's dope, and that's your that's crazy because like you build a network, and as your network expands, your opportunity expands. Right, exactly. Absolutely. And then now, how would you feel if like your letter, like not even your, your letter of recommendation or like your reference? As the boss of such and such, but like that's your beer buddy. You go mm -hmm. drink beer. Yeah, with him. Right, right. So oh, right. you're gonna give them a good. You know what I yeah, mean? Like exactly. it's 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 great. You yeah. know what I mean? Like. That's what I tell good people. I'm, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give. I know the target words to say, especially I'll, if I don't know you from can of paint, man. If I if I think that you got that talent, um, I'll say something on your behalf. I'm like, yeah, use me as a reference. I'm not afraid of that. People that hit me up, listen. As long as, long as I know, like you're you're not no weird dude, right, right. or you're, you're not going to person. Yeah, you're a genuine good person. I'm a, yeah, use me as a reference. And if they call me, oh yeah, oh, he was a first class act, man. He mm -hmm. did this, that, and the third, first one there, last one to leave. No, I totally believe in him. He's one of them guys I want to have on my team. You know right. what I mean? Unfortunately, I'm out here in Cali. He out here in Pittsburgh. Right, right. You know, so, oh, you work for the Rams. You do this, that. Oh, yeah, but forget about me, man. More about them, man. Yeah, it's fun we're out here in L.A., but this guy's who you want to need to hire. Right. And it's stuff like that that just it's what everybody else do. Yeah. Right, you know, right. why not give that next person an opportunity? And that's one right. of my messages. Like, you don't have to play sports to play sports in a sense. I know how that probably right. sounds, but... I had so much fun, guys, and I didn't play a down. <laughs> a oh, down. Last time you, you, you said uh, earlier when you, when you said it, it's like I ain't playing down, but I want to. You don't take, don't short yourself at all, bro. What you did, what you where you came from to where you're achieving to and beyond, absolutely, is second to no one. You absolutely. know what I mean? From the projects, so to, yeah, yeah, from yeah, the yeah, yeah, to Hollywood, uh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You're still a professional, bro. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. So it ain't even about not playing a down. Man, you won the Super Bowl. You won that. Oh, absolutely. You know I mean? Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm taking that thing too. I'm, I'm taking that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing all that, man, and it's just it's chasing your dreams, guys. Like, don't be afraid. Like, seriously, you're going to hear a thousand. No Trust me, guys. I still hear no's to this day, but it takes all them no's to get that one yes. That's all you need, and that's bro. all you need is your opportunity. And like now, like I reach out to guys, I'm like, hey, I'm trying to get to the Lakers, and then you'll see people like, oh, let me. I know this person. Right, right, right. And so you know, you're on the phone. Yeah, you plugged in. Yeah, it's like. Why not? You know, especially when they know you're a great person. Like mm -hmm. one of my biggest compliments that I've ever gotten from people was when I, if I leave a team and I happen to come back for a game or something, a lot of people be like, "Yo, Terrence, we really miss your energy, right? Yeah. Your whole energy, your whole." Vibe. And I know what they mean because I come in there. I'm jo I'm not. I'm not a jokester, but I want to make everyone on the team feel a part. I don't care if you're an intern or the big boss. Right. Like when you meet Terrence, you're going to meet a great, genuine person, a hard worker, dedicated to the craft. But most importantly, you're going to meet a genuine, good person. Like yeah. I, I want to see you do better than me. I want to see you do better than me. Ain't no hate in my blood. Right. Like shoot, if you do better than me, shoot, I can call you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shoot, like you, you may be able to put me in a new position. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You may, like, and it's not about that, but it's just like, let's, let's help each other. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there's, there's so many avenues you can take. But to answer your question, I would like to go into films. I want to see what that's like. Yeah. I want, in a sense, I kind of want to fail at film. Yeah. You know, you got to find that niche, find that urge, and um, I want to do that. Like I love sports, but as of right now, like I, I feel like I've accomplished a lot. Right. So now you here's just a new chance. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> what's, the, what's like that's why I have to ask myself, what's next? The like, next, what do you want right. to do, Terrence? Like, you got your freaking masters in film. What do you want to do? Right. I'm like, well, let, let, let me try. What type of movie? You Any think? type, bro. Yeah. I'm just, I want to get my. But feet what's your right. like? That's going. What you think that's going to put you in the game? Like, you know what I mean? I want to make it like I remember the Titans. Like a real. Mm -hmm. I want to make something like dope. that. Yeah. I want to make something like that. If 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 all if I can get the right people behind me, yeah. I would love to make a film like that. I would love to film one of those in Pittsburgh, like because yeah. Pittsburgh, like there's there's so much here that people don't even know. Oh, absolutely. Um. So I would love to film something like that. Uh, a comedy, like a like, even like a like a like a not sketch comedy, but like a romantic comedies yeah. like cheesy stuff like that but yeah. like there's just so many different avenues bro like but you can be and i mean uh, i've been one of my professors he shoots a lot of films now and he's uh he's been asking me to like hey man you know if you want to like just, just uh -huh. get your feet wet and i mean obviously i was busy in sports so now like i i probably want to take him up on his offer yeah just to see what it's like like 
I've, I've shot films before, but I, those are school films, and I'm not right, downplaying right, right. them. Like, I just want to see what it's like at that level. Right. Can I compete with those guys? Mm -hmm. You know, I've competed at the highest level here. Like, I'm not satisfied at all. I'm still getting going, but it's like, it would be cool to win an Oscar. Yeah. Like, I, I'd love to be a part of that. No you know what I mean? Like, there's just so yeah, many. Even, I'll be, I sit on TV, look at TV and see your name pop up, even just a nomination. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I, I, I know that. Hey, baby, I know that. I know that. Uh, this song, man. Like, and then, like, even out in LA right now, like, um, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm just so blessed. To, uh, be, I have an older cousin out there. Um, his name Tommy Brown. He's from Pittsburgh, man. Okay. And, um, just being around like his team, like he's a very successful producer. I know by guys heard like Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber. Yeah. Uh, he's been producing for them. So the song, like, Thank You, Next, Seven Rings, Justin Bieber, Holy. Um, like he's. Executive producer of all that, bro. Like he's he's from Pittsburgh, and like when I talk, he probably to him, worked with uh, what's the one guy, uh, Mikey? He from yeah, Mikey. So yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah. So they're signed to him. So okay, he, they okay. all created Social House. Yeah, Social so House. yeah, I've yeah, been I've yeah. been with Mikey, Scooty, Auto man, like um, Skis as well, bro. Like they that whole Champagne Therapy over there, man, and what they got cooking up is just great, man. Like just to see them going to work, like how a professional player does. Them guys don't sleep, man. Yeah. Them guys is really up there. Like, for instance, they had Corey LeRae in their studio. Like, yeah. they had Usher in the studio. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I pull up, and it's like, whoa. Like, and I mean, as, as successful as my cousin is, he's still as humble as can be. Right, yeah. And he's just there. Like, and I ask questions. And one of his biggest things that I asked him was like, oh, so how do you, like, how do you, not how do you do it, but, like, what's one of your greatest things that you can tell me? He said, keep going. And at first, I didn't really take it. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what the hell are you cheating me? <laughs> you cheating me, bro. I'm waiting on the speech. He said, yeah. no, bro, oh, keep going is, because, man. listen, I'm going to tell you to keep going because if you keep going you keep perfecting your craft and you keep trying to network and you keep trying to do this, that, and the third, you never know what you can run into. Mm -hmm. You've already done a good job, Terrence. You got here. I remember yeah. when you came out here um, just just messing around. You know, you're still in college, and now you're out here winning championships, bro. That's what Nipsey you know? said. You <laughs> never know. Like, and then he, 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 used, he used me as an example when we were all yeah. talking to all of his friends. He was just like, bro, he just won a freaking Super Bowl. Yeah. And, like, he did this without the help of anybody. He yeah. hasn't asked nobody for no help. Yeah. If anything, he asked to come over here and shoot a couple content, but, yeah. like, that doesn't hurt. That's only going to help us. You right, know? Right. Like, exactly. Just stuff like that, being those environments, like, Picking his brain, picking like a skis's brain, like picking uh, Mr. Frank's brain. Uh, just, just, there's just so many different avenues. Network, guys. It's crazy. You keep going back to the network. network bro. Open up your mouth, guys. Pause, but like, you know what I mean, dude, hey, you gotta do. It's been a while, and reaction. So, y'all can't get that out. <laughs> no, we give that in. I'm going on Facebook tonight. <laughs> Please, no, no, you're good. That's what you're into, hey. No, 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 no. no it's no. cool. I watch P Valley, so. Hey, man. Hey, that's what you're into. No judgment so. for anybody. Listen, I lived in San Francisco for five years, man. Hey, I've seen it all. I'm, I'm hey, hey, man. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, I love everybody. Hey, be who you are. <laughs> Terrence is, is a fan of everybody, man. <laughs> Too cool, man. No, that's dope, man. But we appreciate you coming on. Yeah, oh, man, man. I guys. To hear your story, man, yeah. and get this conversation in because, yeah, like I said at the beginning, man, you don't got to be an athlete to make it to the professional level. And you did it, and you won a world championship. Yeah, world champion. And you're, like I said before, bro, the things, how you started and how you're going out and where you're going to finish, the sky's the limit. Absolutely. Like, you know what I mean? I, I, when I say I, I could be chilling watching TV and see your name as a nomination, I really think that, bro. I'm mm -hmm. like, so keep going what you're doing. Don't forget about us small people. I would never you know what I mean? <laughs> but never. Nah, keep, going. <laughs> keep going. We got to get out there to a game or something. Please Come do, guys. Out, Come man. on. Shoot. Do, you do. know, we, we always forever, you know, thankful for you, how you helped us jumpstart that D1D. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. get that content out there and, you know, it's, just can't speak highly enough of you you know what i mean i appreciate you dog. i appreciate you guys man. you guys are you guys are doing great with this podcast man and for everybody man don't be afraid to chase your dreams man because like i said man there is no limit like you said there's no limit to what you can accomplish man like for instance guys like <laughs> I hate school, bro, but I'm sitting here with a master's degree. Right. How the heck does that happen? Three of us. Hate school. You got his master's. You got your, I'm finishing mine yeah, in like, December, so. I, I, like, hate you know, I hate it. I hate school, but I'll tell a person to go to school in a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go. <laughs> no, it's going well, man. But, like, once again, guys, just thank you for uh, having me here, man. It's a huge honor to be here, man. And I wish you guys both success, man. Um, 
Just keep up the good work, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Absolutely, uh, guys. Make sure y'all continue to watch. Follow status 412 underscore on the IG. Yes, follow sir. the status 412 underscore on Facebook. Subscribe and, and keep you watching rolling. the Rams game, make sure you see if you see if you see my man right here. World you know champion, man? Super Bowl. <laughs> you, know, you might see me course out. You never know. You never know. I might pop up. I'm like who did it. Appreciate you, Appreciate you guys, man, for sure. Status Podcast.